This morning I've been reading in John 9 and it's talking about the blind man that was healed by Jesus. He was healed by Jesus and he was taken in by the Pharisees and the Pharisees kept questioning him over and over and over again, asking him the same questions about the same things that he already had told him about Jesus. I was just like reading this and I could feel the Lord on this. Like I've read this story like over and over again, but sometimes you just read parts of the Bible and it's like God's trying to speak to you about this for like the first time. It's this man was getting questioned over and over again. And so finally he came and he said, this is what the blind man said to the Pharisees. He said, look, the man exclaimed, I told you once, didn't you listen? Why don't you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? Then they cursed him and said, you are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know God spoke to Moses, but we don't even know where this man comes from. Why? That's very strange, the man replied. He healed my eyes, and yet you don't know where he comes from. We know that God doesn't listen to sinners, but he is ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. Ever since the world began, no one was able to open the eyes of someone born blind. If this man were not from God, he wouldn't—he couldn't have done it. So I think we can be encouraged in this that sometimes people like if you're walking in your faith and you feel like nobody around you understands the Jesus that you know the true Jesus that is living and breathing and his word is alive I think we can be encouraged this morning that even if people around you don't feel the same way about the word your God hears you if you worship him and you lay down your life as a living sacrifice. We are called to worship him and we are called to have a relationship with him. You don't need to have all the answers in your life. You don't need to know everything, but if you humbly serve our God, he hears you and he sees you. So just be encouraged today. I just wanted to share that with you because it's such an encouragement of this man's faith that he didn't know where, he didn't know what was going on, but all that he knew is that he was blind, but now he can see. Read this story of the blind man and be encouraged by his faith. See that Jesus is good no matter what anybody else says, no matter what any opinion is. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and he is still good all the days. No matter what person tries to tell you, his word is true, and he is good always. Okay, fun fact, I never used to make my bed, um, but now I make my bed because it makes me feel accomplished in the morning. more successful bus yes. ride today. My water didn't spill. We so. made it, we made the bus. Yeah, we did. We did. So now we're heading to English. I'm going to get some lunch and do some stuff before I practice at noon. So. so someone had commented and asked what I eat in a day. So today I had some baked ziti, some strawberries to get my fruit in, and some grapes. And then back there I had my spark. Yum. This isn't exactly what I eat every day, but this is what they had today. Heating my back. Hey 
guys, we just finished practice and here's Courtney. Hi, Addie did a great job today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's vlog. Holly. Can you want to say hi to my vlog? Hi vlog. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> We're walking over to Stegman. We're walking over to go get treatment. In Stegman, you get some bucks. Yeah, but today we get rewarded, I guess. People, I'll show you guys what I have when I get home. All right, guys, this is what's on the menu for tonight. It just looks like a big bowl of bread, but I promise there's stuff in it. It has steak in it, corn, sour cream, and lettuce. That's on the menu for tonight. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is about 9:30, and I am so tired. Don't make fun of me. I'm just super tired, and I'm about to go to bed. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing schedule as a student athlete and just seeing me go around campus and yeah comment what you guys want to see next and i will see you guys next time peace out amigos